A few months ago, a friend sent me this photo followed by the sentence, I just drove by the world's widest canal. I knew immediately I needed to see it for myself. A quick Google search confirmed it was in Massachusetts, relatively close to home, given that photo could have been taken anywhere on Earth. It felt like a gift that it was possible for me to come here to the Cape Cod Canal in Cape Cod, Massachusetts and show you the widest canal in the world. When it comes to making videos like this though, possible never means simple. The canal is operated and maintained by the US Army Corps of Engineers. So if I wanted to make a video on the widest canal, I'd have to get permission from the military. That seemed really unlikely, but I reached out anyway and to my surprise, they gave me the go ahead. They even put me in touch with the education director. We spoke over the phone about information I might never have found online. Facts about the canal's history as a point of defense against German U-boats during both world wars, how it was necessary for trade and preventing shipwrecks as far back as the colonial era and throughout the Revolutionary War. Even George Washington proposed building a canal here, but it wasn't built until 1909. And um, one more tiny detail right before we hung up, that this wasn't the widest canal in the world anymore. Needless to say, I was more than a little disappointed. I was set on making a video about the widest canal, not only because it's a catchy title, but because it's important. It hasn't really been done before. Canals tend to earn their reputation based on how long they are. That information is out there, but a shipping canal is only as useful as it is wide. That's a limiting factor in determining the size of the vessels that can pass through it. And canals are, by definition, artificial waterways, human beings, altering Earth's landscape on so large a scale that's remarkable. I wasn't ready to give up on this idea. So I thought, I got lucky the first time. The second widest canal is this close to home. Maybe the widest is too. It isn't. It's in Egypt, based on the numbers, the Suez Canal is indeed the widest canal in the world. In 2014, the Egyptian government launched an ambitious project to double the width of the canal in just one year to accommodate large modern cargo ships. And even that's relevant. The Suez Canal has been wider than the Cape Cod Canal as far back as the 1980s. The thing is, nothing online makes that claim. The accepted common knowledge based on even the most credible information available to us is that the Cape Cod Canal is the widest canal. Try this. Pause the video, try any combination of search terms, use all the confirmation bias you can muster, and try to find a result on the first page or two that any other canal is the widest, and then come back. Even though the Suez Canal is objectively, irrefutably, the widest canal and has been for decades, unless you work for the Corps of Engineers or the captain of a cargo ship, you'd have no reason to question the Cape Cod Canal's status as widest in the world. The idea has been so popularized and reinforced, it's reported as a fact. The numbers that prove it isn't are so scattered, it might as well be. To most people, this is the widest canal in the world, even though that simply isn't true. Now, I could have waited to make this video, saved up my money, flown across the world. Technically, it is possible for me to show you the Suez Canal, but even if I wanted to do that, it wouldn't mean anything because this has happened before. There was a time when the commonly held belief, the fact that was propagated and reinforced the same way the fact that the Cape Cod Canal is the widest canal in the world is propagated and reinforced was that there were canals on Mars, artificial waterways, built on Mars, and they were wider than the Cape Cod Canal by a factor of 100, not meters or feet. Of course, today that sounds absurd, but at the turn of the 20th century, it was observed and endorsed by astronomers and widely reported as true in reputable newspapers across North America for years. People believed it, not because they lacked information, quite the opposite. They had a lot of information and it all seemed to reinforce itself. It started as a mistranslation. In 1877, Italian astronomer Giovanni Scaparelli observed channels on Mars. A channel is the ground a river flows through, what a cup is to coffee, and they occur naturally. He wasn't wrong. There are channels on Mars up to 300 miles wide in some places. He even correctly called them channels, canali in Italian, which English speakers incorrectly understood to mean canals. Most influentially, the English speaker Percival Lowell. When he observed the Martian canals, he intricately mapped them and developed a detailed theory about intelligent beings that dug canals to move water from Mars's polar regions to its equator. He even justified it, saying canals were dug out of necessity because Mars was running out of water. Between 1895 and 1906, he wrote three widely read books about the canals on Mars. Lowell was intelligent and convincing. Many astronomers were skeptical, but others supported him, outspokenly, in papers across the country. The Washington Times quoted an astronomer who called Lowell a man of science in good standing among the astronomers. That wasn't necessarily true, but it was published, as were many other articles about the canals on Mars, including one by Lowell himself in the LA Times. Lowell's ideas resonated with people. The Suez Canal had recently been completed in 1869. The Panama Canal was under construction. Canals were relevant. They were the modern marvels of engineering. The idea of canals on Mars wasn't just plausible. It was printed everywhere. 
to the public, it seemed true. The commonly held belief, at least for a while, was that there were canals on Mars, the widest canals in history. NASA supported Astrobiology magazine called Lowell the most influential popularizer of planetary science in America. Of course, he was wrong in calling him canals. So it didn't take that long to figure that out. But his claims persisted as fact-based knowledge in the public eye long after advancing technology proved them wrong. They continued to circulate. As University of New Mexico geography professor K. Maria Delane put it, people held on to the belief because of mutually reinforced wishful thinking. That's exactly how confirmation bias sustains itself for so long. That's what you experienced when you searched widest canal and were led to believe this is it, even though it's clearly not. So why did I still come here? The widest canal is what people believe it to be based on the information available to them. Based on the available information, people believe this is the widest canal. So even though that isn't true, the same way the belief that there were canals on Mars isn't true today, this is considered the widest canal. I can show it to you. What I can't do is show you the much, much wider canal that was once considered the widest because I really didn't want to wait until commercial travel to Mars was available to make this video. Hello, it is me from the future to say that I am currently at an impasse with this channel and that I can no longer afford to run it. So if you enjoyed this video or any other video on this channel and like to see more, there is one free thing you can do to help. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. It doesn't give me money, but it does grow the channel in a way that I can continue making things like this. And you won't miss out on them when I do. I really don't like self-promotion, but I have to. Sorry.